Welcome back to Designing Code with me, episode 4. If you've watched the previous episode, you'd know that we are currently developing a cozy pixel art video game, Wistful Orchids. Together, we will be bringing you behind the scenes and sharing with you the beginnings of our journey creating Wistful Orchids. First, I'd like to take some time to thank the sponsor of this video, Best Buy. They were so kind enough to gift me this Wacom One tablet. It has really helped with our artistic workflow. Having the form factor of a tablet to draw on with the functionality of desktop pixel art software makes everything so much easier. With a full HD color display, built-in pop-out legs, and an awesome ergonomic stylus, the Wacom One can help you take your artistic visions and bring them to life. Having a drawing tablet makes illustrating pixel art so much easier, especially if you're coming from a more traditional art background. Using a stylus is a lot more intuitive when creating artwork compared to a mouse or a trackpad, not to mention it's way more ergonomic. So my sister has developed a general workflow for the pixel art that she illustrates. First, she draws a general outline of the object that she's illustrating and gives it some basic colors. Then, she adds some details to the drawing. She then adds shading and highlighting to bring out some more depth in the image. Most pixel art game assets need to be drawn facing every possible direction, so she repeats this process for every character or object four times one drawing for each direction. Then, each frame is laid out in a strip and that completes the creation of this asset. So now that we've got our pixel art assets, let's turn it into a reality. I'm using Game Maker Studio 2 to create Wistful Orchids. This is the first time we've ever delved into game development, but so far it's been such an exciting process. The first thing I want to do is create a sprite using the pixel art that my sister made. You can see that this sprite has four frames, one of each direction it faces. The next thing that we're going to do is create an object with this sprite and give it some code to run on creation and on each step. A step in Game Maker Studio is basically a unit of time. So on each step, we're going to be checking for any key presses. We'll be using these checks to handle player movement. This code will check if any of the arrow keys are being pushed before we go any further, I want to see what this sprite looks like, so let's build the game and see what we've got. I haven't finished writing the code to handle player movement, so we just see our person spinning around really fast. Now I'm going to import our player run sprite. We're going to use these frames to create the running animation as our player moves around the map. Otherwise, it would just look like he was hovering everywhere. So let's see what we've got so far. Now we're able to move around on the map. Well, there isn't really much of a map right now, so let's make it a little more interesting. Here, I'm creating a sprite for some ground textures. I'm going to turn it into a tile set so I can place them around the map. Then, on the room, I'll create a new layer for the ground and start placing some tiles. So 
so far so good. Now we've got some ground to walk on. So I've imported some more assets that my sister made and I'm going to design a simple level using them. Okay, I've created this super warm and cozy level and I want to give it a little more life. I'm creating a sprite for this mushroom that my sister drew and I'm going to insert it into the game. With the mushroom, that concludes the coding part of this video. I've made this cute little level showcasing a bunch of My Sweet Chubbs artwork. So let me show you now what we've built. So that wraps up today's video. Let us know in the comments your thoughts and what you'd love to see in our upcoming cozy pixel art video game, Wistful Orchids. Stay tuned for future design and code episodes. You'll see more and more developments of the game and we're so excited to bring you along this journey and share our progress with all of you. Subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications. I'll see you in the next one.